Hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome to day one. It is December the 1st. We're in the month of holiness. Um, yeah, I don't know if that was the right way to phrase it, but <laughs> we're in the month of Christmas. Um, obviously, I said I said I said I said I said I was going to do a car build every single day up to Christmas. So let's jump straight into it. This first car, I am going to choose the first car. Uh, for December the 2nd, you guys are going to have to comment below what car you want to see tomorrow. And I will do it. Uh, but for now, I want to choose the first car. And the first car I want to choose is this. An Alfa Romeo. Um, Spider Quadrilaco Glio Verde. It looks like the Swagmobile. It it actually looks like a Swagmobile. Like, how would you not want to drive that? Um, also, as well, a car build every day. But also with the car, write down a theme. Um, say if you want this car, Swagilicious, um, I don't know. Uh, I don't, I don't, what, what's a theme? Um, let's say if you want it rice. Let's say you put a theme of rice. I will make this car look rice and then make a tune and drift it. Um, but if you want this car to look race spec, uh, we could put a massive wing on it. Um, stuff like that. So put a theme with the car. Um, if you don't put a theme with the car, then I'll just choose the car and I'll just apply a theme myself. Um, but yeah, if you guys could uh, select a theme as well, that would be absolutely wicked. So let's get back into Horizon Free Roam. And we want to be uh, tuning this car. This car, it looks it looks fun. That's all I'm going to say. It looks fun. Um, I don't know how it's going to go at all. hope it goes okay, but... You know, who knows? It looks swag from the back. Oh wow, it's it's very slow. <laughs> it is very slow. Oh wow. All right, let's just drive over to here. It's not very far. There's no point teleporting that far. Um, but yeah, look at this acceleration. This is intense. Should we get sideways? Oh, no, <laughs> it's not happening. Okay, so this is probably the slowest car I've ever driven. It's swag though. Like, you could just imagine, like, wearing sunglasses, just chilling in your convertible in this car. You'd be like, oh, yeah, I'm the swag boss, bruh. I can never find the entrance to this festival. I'm always next to it. But I could never find it. It's really weird. There it is. There we go. Nearly missed it. Okay, let's jump in here. Let's jump in. Like a wrecking ball. Okay, garage. Here we go. All right, dude. Let me know what you need. Upgrades, custom upgrades, conversion. Let's see what engine conversion was about. Because obviously the power <laughs> was not there. Okay, so I quickly just looked it up. Um, the 4.5 V8 is out of a Ferrari. Uh, the 3.2 is out of a BMW M3 97, I think, and. The 2.0 is from a Honda Civic Type R. So I am going to go with the 3.2 litre. Um, obviously, M3 1997. Okay, so we move on to drivetrain. It's already rear wheel drive, so I won't be changing that. Aspiration. Okay, stock aspiration. Um, I don't know on this engine if you have a twin turbo or a stock, but I wouldn't have thought so in a BMW uh, M3. So should we turbocharge it? I think. Going up to 399 horsepower would be a little bit too much in this car, so I'm going to leave it stock aspiration. Uh, look how small this car is. It, it won't be able to handle it, man. It'll just be like, nah, nah. Okay, that, that wing's quite swag. <laughs> that wing actually looks pretty sick. I'm kind of tempted. I'm very tempted. Uh, but let's not do that because it ruins the speed. And I think we're going to need the speed in this car. So, onto the tyres. I'm going to leave the tyre compound stock. Uh, front tyres. Okay, very thin. Okay, let's go 235s on the front. And on the rears, we can go 255s. There we go. Very nice. We got that sorted. Um, rims. Okay. Fitting some specialised rims for this. Um, seeing as it's quite an old school kind of car. Kind of something. Kind of something along those lines, but I don't think they suit it too much. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with these. I haven't really chosen before. World Racing. 
uh, Magnum Freeze. Uh, I don't think they're really made for this type of car. But I think they kind of suit it, especially when we get the race suspension on this. It's going to look so much better. Um, but let's not go too mad on the on the rim size. Uh, we want it to make well, I make it look acceptable. Uh, obviously, that leaves quite a lot of tire wall. So let's go for 17 inch um, on these. Okay, let's just go 17s. Let me just have a look at the 19 inch. Oh my god, that actually looks pretty swaggy. Um, but yeah, let's, let's go 17 inch. Uh, be be very uh, be very. I can't think of the word. It will come to me in a second. Don't worry. Uh, but put a race clutch on. Uh, let's go race transmission as well. And everything in here basically is race. So instead of going through everyone and telling you, just do every single one race. Okay. 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 There we go. So that is the drivetrain done. So now we're on to platform and handling. And I think this is going to be mostly race in here as well. So if you just head on and continue to do everything race. There we go. The race suspension. That looks absolutely spot on. So that's that. Anti-roll bars. We want race. We want to be able to adjust those. Um, keep coming. The weight is continuing to go down. Okay. That roll cage. That roll cage. I don't think I want that. It kind of ruins it a little bit. I really like the convertible feel. And that roll cage adds more rigid, rigidity. I don't even know that's a, if that's a word. I think I just made it up. Uh, but I like the clean look. I want it to feel stylish. I want it to feel clean. Uh, so I'm just going to go with the standard strut braces for now. Okay, race weight reduction. So I didn't see what weight that actually was then. Um, okay, 981 kilograms. That is mad. That is very light. So I want some noise. I want a race air filter. Uh, I want a race exhaust. We want to make some noise. Uh, so 354 horsepower. Um, camshafts make some more noise. 386 horsepower. Um, maybe if we hit the 400 mark. I think that should be about fine. So let's go 396. Uh, that's about the 400 mark. That's fine. And then just chuck on a race flywheel as well. Okay. So that is basically the upgrades done. Let's jump out into free roam. See how it feels as stock with the stock tune. And if it feels okay, we might not have to do too many adjustments to this car. Uh, but what I am going to do is I am going to teleport down into the industrial area because basically I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to be crashing into cars, etc. So let's just teleport down there. It'll only take one second. And I hope this car actually feels amazing. It's it looks swag. Like if you don't think that looks swag, you are just not the swag life. Like, swag life is not you. <laughs> what the fuck did I even say that for? Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm kind of facing the wrong way, but there is quite a nice section in this car park. So. Let's get back, let's get into the proper industrial area. I think the gearing's very long though. I'm in gear two doing a lot of a lot of speed. Oh wow! That angle though. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> That's mad. Why would why would you set a route? Take that off so you can shut up, okay? Thank you. Wow, that car just felt absolutely amazing. One thing I will say, the gearing feels very, 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 very long. So I am going to... Oh, shit. I don't want to adjust anything else at the moment because I want to see how it feels completely. Um, let's go quite far, to be fair. Let's go to, like, 4.1. Let's just try that. Uh, let's shorten up the gears a lot. So should be able to drift in my gear free right now. Here we go, we're up to 60 miles an hour in gear 2, which is good. Oh, wow. <laughs> Do I even have to tune this? Okay, maybe a little bit of camber, maybe a little bit more tyre pressure. 
Uh, the tires are struggling to spin up. Oh shit. I always forget about the container. That is one of the most containers on that run that I always go like in the hit. It's one of the least containers that everyone else hits, but for me, I just always hit it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Okay, so gearing seems absolutely spot on right now. Um, so let's jump back into the tune. Here we go. Okay, tire pressures. Let's just go down in the front a tiny bit. Uh, it felt a little bit loose on the wheel. Uh, tire pressures up a smidgen in the rear. Okay, gearing was fine. Alignment. Okay, let's take it quiet. To be fair, it felt nice how it was, so I'm only going to do this a tiny bit. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to mess up uh, this car too much. Um, I'll leave tow. Uh, car still can go to 5.5. Anti roll bars. To be fair, it felt nice. It felt stable, so I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave those pretty stock. Uh, let's just take up the springs a tiny bit. I like my cars quite stiff, so this is just a personal adjustment. Uh, ride height. Slam it all the way to the floor. Damping. That looks fine. Let's take down the bump stiffness a tiny bit. And make it a little bit softer. Okay, braking's fine. Let's just move the differential up to 100% as well. Okay, I just hope this car is swagalicious now. I'm going to call this car the Swagmobile. And that name is not going to get ruined at all. Here we go. The Swagmobile is on point. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yes. Love that. That just felt so nice to drift. It feels really stable for a very short base car as well. Like the wheel, the wheelbase is so small. But that just felt absolutely amazing then. That's quite big, that's quite a lot of angle to be fair as well. Wow, this car is mad. This could be a new favourite car right now. Look how, f oh my god, this car. This car is on point. What a way to start these car builds. What a way. See, it's cars like these that people wouldn't think of drifting. But sometimes they're hidden gems, man. Hidden gems. Alright, let's give this another run. But I don't think I'm going to change anything. Because this just feels absolutely spot on right now. Oh, the entry is a little bit weak for me. Transition's fine. That holds stable as hell. This car is so stable right now. Get close to that wall. What are you saying? Look how stable that is. That is unreal. <laughs> yeah! Oh my god, I found a good car. I found an amazing car. So, what a way to start off this. What a way. This car is look in swaggy -E. oh yeah so yeah I can't really change the view here oh shit didn't mean to press that uh, what I want to do is show you the car uh, from a cool angle but it's not really working right now uh, my controller is not working look and my wheel has no analog stick so I can only go in and out um, kind of sucks okay what Let's just exit that. Yeah, exit. Okay. But yeah, this car is feeling absolutely amazing. I'm going to upload this tune onto the storefront right now for you guys. If you don't download this, you are stupid. And I don't mean that in an offensive way. Because it's not. But this this car. What? I, I, can't even, I can't even put it into words. 
That felt better than my Dodge Charger, which was absolutely amazing. So that proves how good it is. Um, it's up as Drift. It's called it's called Drift. So if you just search my gamer tag, which is my YouTube name, just Kevin Toll, uh, you should be able to find it. There we go. It's on. So you go grab that. If you don't want to grab it, you can copy the tune from the video. Uh, but do check out this car. It's absolutely amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a comment below saying which car you want to see next. And I'll see you guys then.